Hey guys, a brand new update you can say was just released for our favorite Affinity software. So let's take a look and find out what's new. I have prepared this list of 10 new features. So let's dive in. The first thing we need to mention is definitely a single app approach. And keep in mind that this new version is not a regular update. So it's not like 2.7. It's a jump to the next generation. Something we did before with version one, jumping to version two. So nobody is taking away your version two, like last time. So you can keep using your version two. And this is like a new install. You need to install brand new app. And this time is a single app. So instead of getting a version three of Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo and Affinity Publisher, we're getting just one app with kind of different modes, personas to switch between those three apps within one app. And that's actually a way bigger deal than people realize because it's solving so many problems and missing tools and features just because we got everything in one app. For example, Affinity Photo suffer from a artboard tool missing. We cannot make multiple pages. Now we can because it's all in one app. Or for example, in Designer, we cannot add a proper table, but now we can because it's integrated with Publisher. So all of those tools are sure now. So this is a big thing and I think it's stepping into the right direction. It will be way easier for them to develop from now on if it's just a single app. So that's something you need to know about. You need to download a brand new app from Affinity.studio. And you, you can keep your old apps that you paid for. All right, so that's big update. What's that? Image trace. No way. So after 10,000 years, we got finally a proper image trace. It's funny because I've been doing those updates videos for years now and that was always a hot topic. So this time you don't need to be grumpy in the comments below. It's here. So you click on the raster image, head to vector menu at the top and you will see image trace. We got two sliders that we can move around to adjust the level of detail we want to trace and then we click apply. It was super quick. It's already traced. There's no loading bar. So take a look. I can now open this object. It's a group of, of vector shapes. We can modify them. We can recolor them. It's all vector based now. Let's zoom in closely. Take a look. Curve base. All right, so image trace is here, integrated and also available for free. So, so that's a nice addition finally here. A big update. All right, what else is new? We can export directly to Canva. So last year Canva purchased Affinity and we've been kind of expecting some integration. So now we got this integration when you're working on using the proper professional software like Affinity. You can craft some logos and stuff like that. And then maybe your marketing team is already working in Canva on some something else. You can head to export menu and there's option for location. You don't need to export to your computer first, send it through email. You can just export to the Canva document or Canva upload section for the whole team to see. So that's definitely something that will be a very appreciated for designers working in the bigger organization like part of the team use Canva, like marketing and, and promotion and graphic designers use professional software like Affinity. All right, so we can directly export to Canva. That's a nice integration. A price change. So we don't need to pay $99 this time for the big update like we did last time paying for version two. This time the app is free and people are freaking out how the app can be free, whereas the cash subscription is coming, blah, blah, blah. So they tell you straight away that you need to pay for AI. So that's how they're going to monetize this app. That's something like the Da Vinci Resolve did before. They give the free app for regular users and they charge companies and people like power users that need extra features. And it's the same scenario here. So don't get it wrong. It's not a freemium version. We got all of the tools from version two. They just added a new tool set of tools called Canva AI and all of them kind of 
linking to your Canva Pro subscription. So this is the way for them to get even more people to subscribe to Canva Pro. They are not taking away any, like away any tools from Affinity. So take it easy. Let's observe this one before we we put internet on fire. All right. So the app is free, and that's a great win for artists, hobbyists, people that just want to try graphic design, schools, students. So let's not forget about that. It, it was impossible to get a professional suite of apps for graphic design for free before, and now you can download this stuff for free. And what they monetize is a service of AI tools. That's the Canva business model for a long, long time. So don't like, don't search for the catch. That's what they did from beginning. Like they released the app, the, the software for free and they charge for templates and premium resources and now also AI features. So that's what they've been doing for years with millions of users. So that's, that's the new plan for Affinity. All right, price is zero. So I guess that's an update, upgrade. <laughs> Canva, Canva AI Studio, that's a new thing. We got Vector, that's designer, Pixel, that's photo, Layout, that's publisher. It's also the new option at the top. And that's give us access to the Canva AI tools that are paid. So if you try to use them, you will get prompt that need to upgrade to Canva Pro. Keep in mind, there is still this locally run machine learning object selection. So that's still here. If you click on that, they got the prompt like before that you need to download this locally running machine learning. You can go to settings and you can install that. So take a look. Now we are downloading the model to our machine. So it can be used offline, not like tons of misinformation. <laughs> this is the same thing for like, for like previous version of designer. So we can run this model like we did before in uh, Affinity Photo Designer in version 2.6. So after you download this, you can do a simple uh, object selections without subscribing to Canva Pro. All right, there are other AI models with this little crown icon that's paid, but the one from the previous version, it's still available. Moving forward, there is a better artboard control now. As, as I mentioned, we got this artboard tool available in the pixel mode, so in Affinity Photo. So right now in the pixel mode, I can still use all of the artboards. It, there, was, there was a painful walk around to add multiple pages to Affinity Photo. Now it's a simple there, the artboard tool. There's a nice addition to it, we got this plus sign. So you can decide which side of the document you wanna add the brand new page above, it is below, on the right, on the left. So this is very helpful. In addition to that, we got integrated publisher. So you head to layouts. You can see your artboards as the proper in the proper page layout. So we can manage them as pages in publishers. That can be super helpful because very often people it was also multi-page projects in designer. And at some point it was hard to manage those artboards, but you are like already deep into designer project. You don't want to move everything over to publish and now you can just switch the tab and continue on managing your artboards here in the publisher mode, you can say. So that's a nice improvement to artboards. And I love that because as you may notice, I am very often putting multiple artboards into one document. All right, we got a single file format now, and this is kind of semi new because many power users of Affinity knew that you can kind of cross open and there are some tricks and walkarounds. Uh, but now, now it's just unify format. Everything is in just dot af dot Affinity, and that's it. So that's something that they've been boosting about. It's a single format for all of your needs. So vector, pixel layout, that's just one program and one file format as well. All right, what else? We got more export options. That's something that people that use this for layouts mostly will be very happy about because we can finally just head to file, export, and take a look. The export window is simplify. It's easier to understand. And we got more formats here on the left. A long list of formats, including EPUB. So that's something that people have been waiting for for a long time. And also the last one is another integration with Canva. There's a Canva design file format, something you could save and send to somebody to open 
in Canva. We're going to test this out in the future videos, that's for sure. Okay, so more export formats, that's a good thing. We got an interface refresh, as you can see, because they need to merge all three apps together. We got some changes and refreshing interface. They also remove some annoying stuff from the top panel as well. So that's nice. The selection tool is modify as well. Now we can decide between default one, selecting objects, even inside groups. That's nice. And selecting whole groups. So like that, that three different modes that we can switch between for selection tool. That's very helpful. All right. And what's the feature number 10 that I want to mention today. So we got 10 new things. And the last thing is personalization. So having those personas, that was always like key feature for affinity. In the past, in designer, for example, we can have a design persona for vector graphics, pixel persona for raster editing and export persona for exporting your, your artwork into multiple file formats. So now, now they allow us to create even more personas so we can create our own studios. They call them studios now. We can switch them on and off. And here is the life hack for all of those people whining about Canva AI. Take a look. You can switch this off and forget about it. All right. It's off now. You don't need to make a two comments down below about it. It's off. We are good. Great. All good. We switch it off. All right. All right. What else here? We can turn on additional workspaces like the export persona, for example, it's here now as slicing persona. And you can create this, click this blue button here, create studio. And then you can make your own icon name and kind of redesign the interface, drag and drop tools around and create your own space for certain type of work you do. So map design, you move everything around, you remove tools, you add tools, you mix everything together and set this up as your own persona, as your own studio that you can switch to in any moment. So that will be really, really helpful when you do some certain kind of work often and you want to customize the program for that and you can switch between those modes on and off, on and off. So now you can create your own personas. So that was a very surprising new additions, but I think it will be super useful for some people. All right, so here we are, we got 10 new features of the brand new version of Affinity. Now they just call it Affinity. It's all integrated in one apps. So let's summarize very quickly. We got a single app now, there's a proper image trace, we can export to Canva straight away. The price is zero, they monetizing on AI use. There's a Canva AI Studio integrated within the app. We got better artboard control. There's a single file format. We got more export formats and we got interface refresh and we can kind of move stuff around and save the interface as the brand new persona for us to use later. All right, so here are 10 changes. I'm sure there's more under the hood as we're going to deep dive into certain personas like vector, pixel and layout separately to discover even more changes, new features and tools. So stick around and keep in mind after this video, I will do the one about missing features. So here are 10 new features. There are still few features missing comparing to Adobe. So let's talk about those in the very next video. See you there. Bye.